Oi, Constantin, bem-vindo à Casa Brasil. Então, o seu trabalho fala muito de design e ergonomia, né? Como é que se dá essa interação de design e ergonomia? Ergonomics is, uh, of course, it plays a, a, a great role in um, in design, just because ergonomics, I think, is something of an interface between the object and the human being, uh, and and that interaction is key for design and for us as designers to understand. So. Um, uh, of course, we're dealing with it all the time, thinking about, um, you know, h how would people, or the human body of people, how would it relate to, to an object? Ergonomics is, um, is a very kind of heavy word. Um, heavy because it, it sounds a little bit scientific or even medical. Um, we believe that there is uh, a rule to it. There's good ergonomics or bad ergonomics. I think the um, the interpretation of ergonomics related to design is much more open and need to be looked at in a much more diverse way. So um, ergonomics can be about the right posture and uh, the comfort that comes from the right posture. But ergonomics is many different things as well. And what is the right posture anyway? The right posture is, uh, relates to a moment. Um, about, it relates to the, the, you know, the, the, the time, the length of time, or the, the short time. Um, it, it relates to you know, individual bodies. My body is different to yours, to ev everyone. You know, it, it is quite different in how how we are built. Uh, so to design, let's say, a chair uh, and talk about ergonomics, we need to take into consideration all the, the variables. Uh, and uh, therefore, I think it's, it's sometimes it's, it's kind of over, um, it's, it's given an over importance to get it right. I think it's maybe more, more, more better to, to create a kind of a basis and then ergonomics are so different. Um, people can adapt individually rather than trying to fit, trying to find the one perfect fit. Um, ergonomics is um, that interface I said. Um, it's human body relating to an object but from that I think comes the psych psychological comfort. Uh, so it's not only the the touch, the the fit. Um, it's also it also has something to do with psychological psychological kind of comfort. We we have a certain reading for objects. We our eyes reads, let's say, a chair, and it tells me it's a comfortable chair. Then I sit in it and I feel comfortable because my eyes have already given me that information. But that can also turn into the opposite. A chair can look comfortable, I read it as comfortable, I sit down and it's not comfortable. And then it feels even more uncomfortable than it may actually be. Or the other way around and that I've experienced with my own chair, uh, the chair one, which we've designed for Magis, which looks rather uncomfortable. So people take that reading, the expectation is not great. People sit down and sometimes they're even surprised how comfortable it is. Um, so now I've been talking about very physical things but also psychological things. They all come into play with ergonomics and it, it just means it's, it's, it's a big issue. It's something important and it's, it's exciting. Um, I guess uh, we work with it all the time and there are many different answers to it and that's what makes it so exciting. There's no, there's no one rule, there's no one answer um, and the solutions or the interpretations have to be found with every new object. Como é o seu processo de criação? Uh, inspiration, it's, it's, uh, it's always difficult to explain because it's not something 
that we can really grasp. Um, I think I, I don't want to. Um, I, I don't. I don't like the idea of inspiration being very direct. I see something; it inspires me to do something. I think I don't think it works that way. I think inspiration is is much more. You know, it's it's a it's a different kind of process. Um, it 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 means um, information that we collect, and we um, in a, in a selective way we collect, we store it away, and the inspiration in a way is is just a kind of moment um, that triggers to bring back some of the the kind of the things that we've stored to bring it back and connect it maybe to something else. Of course the inspiration is, is it then is it's kind of inspiration of that kind which is triggered and to 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 recall, to recollect um, stored information. It's it's fed by many different things, uh, things that we are inspired by. For me it's um, it's kind of things that interest me around me. Um, Everyday life inspires me. Just the the, the normality of life, uh, watching people live their life, watching people interact with things, watching people um, be very skillful and intelligent and smart about living their life, but also people being tragically uh, and even in some kind of humor humoristic way you know, struggling with life. All of that is inspiration. Um, but also, of course, technology is inspiration. Materials, craft, um, uh, knowledge is always inspiration. And people that I work with, they're inspiring. They're inspiration. The people that we work with is, first of all, my the close team of assistants I work with. Um, I've chosen them to be my assistants because I find them inspiring. I want to have them around me. I'm, I value their opinions. But of course it's also the, the clients that we work with. Um, the, the client is a partner in every project and the dialogue between me and that client, which is at the very, very beginning of every project, inspires the project. Um, clients are people that I really like. Uh, they're not just clients. They are more than that. They are, they're people that I, I respect, people that I like to spend time with, people I want to discuss things with, um, people who know things that I don't know. And um, I, I want to kind of um, engage with them. And, and, and all of that makes them inspiring. So inspiration is many things. It's of course also music and seeing exhibitions and the work of other designers and a theatre play and a cinema and a good book, um, all of that. But it's it's not it's, it's not something you can you can really pinpoint and say this is how it works or this inspiration led me to doing that. It's just it's it's all of these things together and and. Um, and I don't know, it's some kind of chemistry, I guess, that makes it happen, uh, or that brings things together, um, that then is what we call the inspirational moment, the, the, most, the moment of inspiration.